Good day, everyone. We are the group Catastrophic from the Grade 12 Humility Section of the Senior High School Department of Cebu Institute of Technology University. Our research study is entitled Quarantined Learners, Identifying Common Coping Mechanisms Used by the Grade 12 Students of Cebu Institute of Technology University in Dealing with Online Classes in Terms of Self, Family, and Academic Performance. Before anything else, I would like to introduce my co-researchers. We have Cubero Lara Claire M, Daan Malcaster L, Yours truly, De Rosa Nil Anthony A, Hernandez Chanpol S, Juarez Aaron James P, Jugara Shaina Angela A, Loyola Russell L, and Italiana Jara Loy Fred. The background of the study. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, some countries have transitioned from traditional face-to-face -face education to distance education. The said form of distance education is different from the usual distance learning, being suddenly, unexpectedly, and forcefully administered invading schooling and constituting a globally discussed phenomenon. The researchers have discovered that there are specific factors that could have contributed to how and why some students are having troubles. Some of these factors are lack of access to a stable internet connection, time management, adjustments from face-to-face -face classes to virtual classes, and lack of access to the applications and devices or gadgets used for online learning, such as laptops, personal computers, tablets, and smartphones. There is a need to work on this problem because the shift from face-to-face -face classes to online classes was drastic, and the researchers aim to look deeper into how students are dealing with these changes through the coping mechanisms they utilize. So next we have the related studies. So the following research studies are related to our study and are used as guides in constructing our study. So all of the things listed here are all studies that are very related to our topic, to our study, that we got to choose them. So the first study is entitled, from stress to success, exploring how Filipino students cope with remote learning amid COVID-19 pandemic by Irvin, by Irvin Rotas and Michael Kahapay. This study tackled all about the problems students are facing due to this pandemic, and it aims on how the students cope with remote learning. Because it is very similar to our study, we use this study as guide in making our questionnaires. Next, the second study is entitled, The Dif Difficulties in Remote Learning, Voices of Philippine University Students in the Wake of COVID-19 Crisis, still by er Erwin Rotas and Michael Kahapay. In this study, we got to know the factors and results of 12 different categories of difficulties encountered by the students in remote learning that we, the researchers, use in constructing the synthesis part of our research. The third study is entitled, Issues and Challenges for Teaching Successful Online Courses in Higher Education, a literature review by Kiberichi and others. In this study, we got to know the factors and issues for teaching students virtually and how the online education is being practiced by most Western countries even before the pandemic, which we, the researchers, got to also use this study for our synthesis. The scope of the study focuses mainly on the identification of the common coping mechanisms carried out by the grade 12 students of Cebu Institute of Technology University in dealing with the difficulties dealt with the pandemic in, uh, involving the online classes in terms of the self, family, and academic. And the researchers will also find out the uh, common factors or the factors affecting the uh, education of the students. The study is limited to the test and retest process for their is only a limited amount of time and the researchers have only made a few revisions from the adapted material and the researchers haven't specified the the differences between the genders or the how the difficulties deal to uh, affect the different genders the purpose of this research study is to identify the common coping mechanisms the grade 12 students of Cebu Institute Technology University uses in dealing with certain factors for the self, the family, and the academic performance that affects their lives in this pandemic. Stressors and diver diversions or distractions are always different for everyone, different for the teachers, and different for the students. So being aware of the most common coping strategies can help one find a certain healthy coping mechanism to utilize and can deal with their problems. Since the research study focuses on coping mechanisms, the findings of this research could also help those who have problems with their studies. That is why the researchers are pursuing this research study in this current period because this would 
also encourage other future researchers to pursue similar studies to discover newer and more effective coping mechanisms that are relevant with the struggles of what lies ahead. Now, let us go to the significance of the study. This research will be useful to the public. First, the students. This provides information on how they can cope up with their struggles and the new mode of learning. This also provides an overview of the common coping mechanisms used, and through this, help the students know what kind of coping mechanisms they can use that best fit their situation that they can use to adapt to their struggles. Second, the teachers. This specifies information that can help them teach the students efficiently, and they can also help provide or recommend common coping mechanisms that can be used by the students in order to help them address that kind of situation. Third, parents. This study prescribes data which can be used to help and aid their children on how they can cope up with the struggles in their studies during today's new normal and online learning. Fourth, future researchers. This study possesses useful information on how the students are able to cope up with regards to their studies amidst this pandemic, which can be useful to their future research about coping mechanisms, such as testing, the effectiveness of the common coping mechanisms, and the likes. Statement of the problem. This research study aims to answer the following questions. These questions outlines the problem to our study. Writing a problem statement allows us to clearly define the aim of the research project we are proposing. Number one, what are the profile of the students studying online? Number two, the researchers want to know or ident identify the common coping mechanisms that the, that the grade 12 students of Cebu Institute Technology University used in dealing with online class and in terms of self, family, and academic performances. Number three, what common factors are affecting the students' lives the most amidst the pandemic? The researchers wants to know if the coping mechanisms addresses these factors. The research design. The research design which the researchers will use in approaching this research study is a qualitative study. The qualitative research designs that will be adapted in this research study are both phenomenology and qualitative systematic review. Phenomenology is one of the research designs of this research study because the research will be focusing on the experiences of the students amidst the pandemic and how they cope with certain issues. Moreover, the researchers will be determining what, co what coping mechanisms are often used by the students in dealing with the said issues. The researchers will be basing the data that will be used for the research study on a previous study conducted by Erwin E. Rotas and Michael B. Kahapai entitled Difficulties in Remote Learning, Voices of Philippine University Students in the Wake of COVID-19 Crisis. That is why the research will also adapt the qualitative systematic review design because the researchers collected data from a previous related study, specifically the previous researchers' output, which are the gathered coping mechanisms and the factors affecting the students' education. The collected data will then be used for the questionnaire and will serve as support for the research. Since this school year the school is utilizing the remote learning or online classes, this study will be conducted in a virtual research environment where the questionnaires will be distributed through email and social media applications via Google Forms link. The target population will receive a link to the questionnaires online. Participants will be able to go through the questionnaires and answer it in a calm mind, making the answers unbiased and accurate. Therefore, the participants can take all the time to think about their answers, hence the data collected will be more efficient. The research respondents of this research study should meet the following criteria. First, he must be a grade 12 senior high school student coming from STEM, ABM, and GAS trend. Second, must be currently enrolled in the Made for Learners framework in Cebu Institute of Technology University. And lastly, be at least 18 years old. Why 18 years old? Because of ethical consideration, the researchers will only ask for 18 years old and above who are non-vulnerable. The total respondents 309 be, out of 1,357 senior high school students who are currently enrolled in the said university. The number of total respondents is determined by the using by using the Slovens formula. The research instrument that will be administered in this survey is a questionnaire in the form of five point Likert scale with the strongly agree as the five or the maximum and the strongly disagree as the one or the minimum. And this is based on the study by Rotas and Kahapay entitled as uh, From Stress to Success, exploring how Filipino students cope with the remote learning amidst pandemic.
So next, our research instrument is based on the study from Stress to Success, exploring how Filipino students cope with remote learning amid COVID-19 pandemic by Irwin Ratas and Michael Kahapay. As I said earlier in the related studies, we use this study as a guide in making our questionnaire. We chose this study because it is very close and related to our study, and it tackles about the, st the problems of students due to pandemic, and it aims on how students cope up with online learning. So next, our research instrument is divided into two parts, profiling portion and the research-related question portion. We divided it into two so that it will correspond to our statement of the problem. So in the first part of the questionnaire, which is the profiling portion, the respondents are instructed to put a check mark on the space provided before the options that best describes the profile. For the second part of the questionnaire, which is the research-related question portion, the respondents are given the choices from strongly agree, scored as 5, to strongly disagree, scored as 1, to put a check mark to their honest preferences in every question. With them providing the information, the researchers assure every respondent to keep the gathered data at utmost confidentiality. Sampling procedure. In determining the sample size, to identify how many questionnaires the researchers will distribute to the respondents, the researchers will use the Slovens formula, which is small letter n is equal to capital letter n divided by the sum of 1 and the product of capital letter n and e squared. For small letter n, is the sample size, capital letter N for the population size that is gathered from the enrolled grade 12 students of CIT University School Year 2020, 2020 which is 1,357 for the margin of error in which the researchers agreed on which is 5% or 0 0.05. After substituting the variables, it will become sample size is equal to 1,357 divided by the sum of 1 and the product of 1,357 and 0.05 squared, which is equal to 308.93 or 309 respondents. In getting sampling technique, the researchers will use the purposive sampling, in which involves selecting a sample that is most useful to the purposes of the research, meaning the researchers want to gain a detailed knowledge about a specific phenomenon rather than making a statistical inference or where the population is tiny and specific. Here are the step-by-step -step process of the researchers in order to collect the data. Firstly, the researchers will look for related questions from a credible source that will help them with their research and give them data addressing the research topic. Secondly, after writing their questions, they will distribute the questionnaires via online platform to the selected grade 12 students of Cebu Institute of Technology of Legal Age. Lastly, the researchers will wait until the form is filled out by the selected participants. After receiving the answered survey, the researchers then will tally and tabulate it before analyzing and interpreting it. In treating the data, the researchers will use the descriptive method. They will use the Microsoft Excel as a modem to tally the gathered data in order to obtain beneficial findings and results. Descriptive method. So in the analysis section of the study, the researchers will be using a narrative analysis or in other words, just use a descriptive, uh, descriptive approach in analyzing the data. And in the interpretation section, the researchers will be utilizing the software Microsoft Excel to uh, tally the d gather data. Definition of terms. These key terms will help clarify the purpose of the study. First, coping mechanism to invest one's own conscious effort to solve personal and interpersonal problems in order to master, minimize, or tolerate stress and conflict. Coping mechanisms. The strategies people often use to deal with certain issues arising from situations. Coronavirus, a large family of viruses transmitting between animals and people that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as, such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS-CoV and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS-CoV. Distance Learning a method or mode of learning that is done virtually, wherein lectures broadcasted online with the use of apps such as Zoom, Google Meet, MS Teams, and etc. Mode of learning, a set of guidelines that describe the methods humans use, acquire, process, and maintain knowledge. Online classes, a course conducted over the internet, pandemic, an outbreak of a disease that occurs over a wide geographic area such as multiple countries or continents and typically affects significant proportion of the population. Quarantine, a situation wherein people are restricted from going outside their houses in order to prevent the spreading of a virus. Remote learning occurs when the learner and instructor or source of information are separated by distance, making it 
drastically different from a traditional classroom setting. Stress, any type of change that causes physical, emotional, or psychological strains. Upon making this proposal paper, it had been a series of ups and downs. We, the researchers, would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the following. First, the researchers are thankful to God, for He had been with us through this course and journey, for giving us the determination to preserve despite the current situation we are in. We, the researchers, would also like to thank our parents, for they have been the people who are with us from the very start and have been our greatest supporters. The researchers are also thankful for the experts that have been with us throughout this entire process, the Ms. Espanol and Ms. Martinez, Thank you for your guidance and patience, for the knowledge you have impaired to us, and for the suggestions that you gave. Last but not the least, the researchers would also like to thank our research subject teacher, to Mrs. Garbes. We are grateful for your efforts and guidance to us. We would like for you to know that your efforts are greatly appreciated, and it had been a very big help in making this research proposal paper.